Well, it's uh, about damn time we got a new Trunks unit, let alone a Super Trunks. And while I'm a little bit undecided about how good I feel like this guy actually is, um, I'm definitely intrigued just because it's a Super Trunks. So with all that said, let's uh, get into the animations, the details, and everything you need to know about this upcoming Dokkan Fest exclusive uh, Super Trunks. Now, he does have a side banner unit, which we're not going to focus on too much here, but one thing I do want to emphasize about this Gohan is that he has a crap load of HP, man. I mean, 19,227 for a non-LR, like, non-Easy A unit is just kind of insane. It's kind of crazy. Um, when I first saw it, I thought maybe it was like a mistake, maybe it was a typo, but um, they haven't issued a correction, so apparently he has just like all the HP, and obviously it's not the most important stat, not to say the HP is not important, because obviously we need it, but of the three main stats, you could definitely say it's the least important, right? So it's not going to make him OP by any means, it's just... A lot of HP, and it's kind of weird. I don't really know why he has so much uh, HP, but anyways, uh, that's the Gohan. Let's now focus on the main unit, which is the Trunks, and we'll start here with the animations first, which I haven't seen yet, so you will be getting my genuine first reaction. I'm going to quickly pause my music here, and let's go. Okay, yeah, um, animations look good, animations look solid, uh, very clean, as always. Um, I'll start with the Gohan. Uh, for a side banner unit, I gotta say, they did a great job with him, but that's not a surprise, because these days, um, basically all units free to play, you know, non Dokkan Fest, are all getting good animations. Uh, for the trunks, I wasn't like the most impressed up until the transformation, but the transformation was freaking sick. And then uh, everything beyond that was uh, great as well. Uh, like this was fine, this was fine, but the transformation, this was, yeah, this was freaking awesome. And then, um, <laughs> you know, the little TFOs here in the active skill just killed me, man. It's I don't know why, it's just so funny to me. Okay, so those are the animations. Let's get to the uh, kit breakdown now. And I want to give a shout out to Minato's Flash on Twitter for providing us with these translations. They're much appreciated. And uh, yeah, we got the Super Saiyan Trunks as well as the Super Trunks. So first things first, with the Super Saiyan Teen Trunks, his leader skill is Mastered Evolution or Android slash Cell Saga, key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 170%, plus an additional HP attack and defense plus 30% to characters who also belong to the Rapid Growth or Warriors Raised on Earth category. Let me just check, I have my music playing, we do, okay. And uh, his super attack raises attack and defense for one turn and causes immense damage, and passive is key plus 2, attack and defense plus 150% plus an additional attack and defense plus 100% performs an additional attack which has a great chance to become a super attack and a high chance to guard all attacks when there are three, another three or more android slash cell saga category characters 
or sorry, category allies on the team. So this is a, a point of contention for sure. Definitely um, a little bit restrictive as far as team building uh, options for him. I mean, of course, you could put him on a team that doesn't satisfy this uh, Android slash Cell Saga requirement, but you're losing a lot when you do that, right? You're losing this additional attack that has a 70% chance to become an additional super attack. And you're also losing this 50% chance to guard um, if you don't have at least three or more Android slash Cell Saga allies on the team. So, um, don't love that. Don't love that. Plus an additional attack and defense plus 70% when performing a super attack. Attacks effective against all types. When there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, Cell uh, Junior uh, excluded, and also transforms when conditions are met. So, yeah, um, this last part, I guess, is not like the most important, especially when you transform into Super Trunks. Um, he gets guaranteed crits, so it's like you don't need this attack's effect against all types. But, um, yeah, it still kind of sucks with this like enemy restriction. I don't, I don't love units that have enemy restrictions, especially when it's like this specific, you know, with like only cells giving you the attacks effective. But, um, yeah, anyways, that is the Super Saiyan Trunks. Uh, active skill requirements can be activated when HP is 60% or above from the third turn from start of battle once only. And it uh, temporarily greatly raises attack, causes ultimate damage, and disables enemy's action once within the turn. Uh, Link said Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Real Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Soul vs. Soul, and Fierce Battle, and categories are... Ooh, there's a lot. Hybrid Saiyans, Future Saga, Full Power, Time Travelers, Vegeta's Family, Super Saiyans, Android Slash Cell Saga, Bond of Master and Disciple, Rapid Growth, Saviors, Connected Hope, Heavenly Events, Master Evolution, Entrusted Will, Transformation Boost, Power Beyond Super Saiyan, and Earth Bread Fighters. So that is the Super Saiyan Trunks. Now moving on to the Super Trunks. To transform, you have to be... Let's see. Okay, transforms at the start of the next turn after attacking five or more times during the battle or from the fifth turn from the start of battle when there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, excluding Cell Jr., etc. So, um, I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's bad, especially with the additional attack built into his passive. Um, he could, in theory, transform on... Uh, Actually, I guess the earliest you could transform is the fifth turn. Because let's say turn one, you get him, and then he gets three attacks, and then, you know, second appearance, that'd be turn three. He gets two or three more attacks, that's five attacks, right? So by the third appearance, which is most likely turn five, right? Most likely turn five or six, you'll get that transformation. So, um, okay, that's, that's, that's cool. Um, yeah, not the most uh, restrictive condition by any means, and um, yeah, that's fine, that's fine. Okay, so <laughs> that's the requirement. Uh, super attack raises attack and defense for one turn, causes immense damage, and performs critical hits for one turn. So, hold on, let me just quickly check his passive again. Um, does he get maybe a third super on the passive? He does it, right? So it's just two supers on the passive and then a potential third one from the potential system from what I can see. Okay, yeah, anyways. Um, super Trunks gets the guaranteed crits on a super attack, as you can see. Passive, keep plus four, attack and defense plus 300%, performs an additional super attack and guards all attacks for three turns from first appearance plus an additional attack and defense, plus, um, or boost up to 200%. The more HP remaining, the greater the stat boost. Plus an additional attack and defense, plus 100% when performing a super attack, stuns attacked enemy when performing a super attack. And the active skill can be activated when HP is 60% or above, or when there's an enemy whose name includes Cell, and then... Uh, active skill effect temporarily greatly raises attack, causes ultimate damage, delays art what delays target enemies' attacks by one turn, performs critical hits within the same turn. Activated. 
and uh, links are Golden Warrior, Messenger from the Future, Super Saiyan, Royal Lineage, Prepare for Battle, Soul vs. Soul, and Fierce Battle. And categories are Hybrid Saiyans. Future, oh, they're, they're the same as before. Okay, so that is the Super Trunks. And uh, as you can see, the restrictions are gone. So the concerns about like having, you know, Android slash Sash Cell Saga uh, uh, allies or uh, like a Cell enemy, those aren't really much of a concern anymore because they're not present in his new passive um but i do find his passive to be like very basic it's just really he's just kind of like a stat stick right just give him a bunch of boosts and and, and that's kind of it it's kind of a boring passive in my opinion um which i mean performance wise i think it's gonna be fine he's gonna do a lot of damage he's gonna do uh, he's gonna get a lot of hp um but the guard only being for three turns also i don't love i wish he had longer guard or maybe like after three turns it becomes a chance to guard still that's better than not having guard right so um yeah overall i think he's good i think he's good but i don't think he's great like i don't think he's amazing i don't think he's like a top five tur or anything like that which um I mean, these days for new units, you kind of hope they are in the top five when they are newly released, right? But um, I guess if they did that for every unit, then it's not as exciting when we get like the super OP units. I don't really know. The point is, I don't think he's amazing. Um, maybe I'll change my mind once I see him in action or once I get a chance to use him. But for now, just based on my on paper, you know, initial reactions, I think he's fine, but he's not like a must-have or anything like that uh let me know in the comments if you guys feel differently let me know if you have a different opinion after seeing his details and uh, maybe the animations factor in as well for you but to me he just has good animations he has good um he has a good kit but nothing that's really uh blowing me away by any means and it's a little bit sad because like i am super excited for a new super trunks but I just gotta be honest with you guys. Um, I think he's, I think he's just fine. I think he's just fine, but nothing beyond that. So uh, yeah, let me know your opinions in the comments. Uh, if you agree with me, cool. If you don't agree, that's fine as well. We can have a discussion. And uh, thank you guys for watching. That's gonna do it for the Super Trunks breakdown. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video, sub to the channel. If you're new, hit that notification bell so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.